middle and keep your head kind of out to the side. So if you were to kick, you wouldn't get kicked in the head. So you're gonna squeeze the chestnut and cause him to pick up his foot. Just keep squeezing, there you go. And again. Keep squeezing, there, good. There, now just hook. There, now just hold the hook and wait. Oh, again. Good, hold the hook. <laughs> so when he goes to pick up his foot, you can let go of the hawk. And you might need to put your hook pick in your pocket for now until you get a get his foot up. There. Good. Now just hold the foot. Right there. Hold the toe. Yep. And again. And good. Now just wait right there. And now that's all right. No problem. Good. Do it again. Keep your head out to the side. Good, right there, that's really good. Now just wait for him to relax and allow him to give you his foot. Very nice, good, now you can pick it out. Good job. There you go. Now take your hand off his hawk. Good. Good job. Doing great. Right there. Very good. Very good. Now see if you can do less with your stick. Just use more of your body. Point your lead rope out there. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, what do you remember about sliding your hand down to disengage the hindquarters? Very good. Very good. This cone, yes. Now if he comes forward, you're gonna wiggle the rope. Just think, get this, just the shoulder. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There, now walk off. Well done, well done. Very nice, that was great. And imagine a line going around those cones. Send some energy out there. Good, push. Try to use more of your body language energy. Good. Yeah, good.
Okay, she's kind of lagging behind. You got it. Yep. When it feels good, that's when you're going to yield the hind quarter. Headlights. Good. Some rhythm in the stick. Don't just poke them. There you go. Right on, Jim. Good. 